5 a.m. in the morning, you can get bakute kau kau. Ah, roti chalai, 24 hours available. 6 o'clock morning, I can eat dosa. Wow. Nasi lemak panas, available, grab ada. 3 pagi pun sampai. Luar biasa Malaysia. Amen, amen. You know, uh, that is God's grace and glory over Malaysia. So if you are in Malaysia, God has a plan for you. Amen. And Sramban Life Assembly, uh, SLA, is a family church, will, will be a blessing to the nation. Amen. This church, uh, can you just increase my volume a bit? Just increase uh, on the monitor, yeah? This church will be a blessing to the nation. Amen. Glory to God. And, and, and this morning, the Holy Spirit is speaking to me about identity. Amen. Let faith be your identity. Amen. Your identity is in the Word of God. Now I want to speak to you. Many of you who are here this morning, the Holy Spirit is giving me a word. You will live long. Put your hand and give Jesus the glory. With long life, God will satisfy you and show you His salvation. Many of you are going to live long. And you're going to see your children prosper. You're going to see your grandchildren prosper prosper. You are going to see your generation prosper. Let it be done. Your faith this morning is in Psalms 91 and verse 16 with long life. So let faith be your identity. And that's what my message is this morning. Sramban Life Assembly is living under God's glory and grace. And this morning, raise your faith to another level. Because in this church, I'm not new, I've been here a few times. And I just want to share this with you. Instead of waiting for Jesus to touch you, you can touch Jesus. Won't you say an amen? Instead of waiting for Jesus to lay his hand upon you, the moment you come here, you can lay your hands upon Jesus. Amen. The identity is so important. Don't let sickness be your identity. Don't let what is temporary sickness be your permanent identity. Jangan biarkan kesakitan anda menjadi identity anda. Hiddik, Hiddik. I have a friend. Every time I meet him, Pastor Hiddik, Pastor. Come, let's go and play football. I love football. By the way, my favorite team lost last night. <laughs> if you follow EPL. Huh? I love to play football. And every time when I call my friend to come, let's go play football. Hiddik, Pastor. Hey, come to church. I want you to be involved in the church. Headache, pastor. Headache. Whenever we go with a team, headache, pastor. Headache, sakit kepala. Let's go for holiday, sakit kepala. Until now, all my friends will ask, hey, sakit kepala never come to church today. Ah? Headache never come to church. Ah? Hey, let's go for makan today. Tomorrow's a holiday. If you're still waiting for the headache to come, why? Because your headache becomes your identity. And this morning, you are going to change your identity in Jesus' name. Don't let your past failures, your past failures be your identity in Jesus' name. The Holy Spirit, this morning as you receive the word, just say, be it done, O Lord, according to your word. And the Holy Spirit is ministering to me. The some past failures, 
some past failures is still coming and distracting you. I pray in Jesus' name be destroyed. Amen. You want to move forward. You want to move forward, but past failures are still coming and distracting you. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let faith be your identity this morning. Amen. You know, uh, when I was young, I'm still young, by the way. <laughs> hey, Pastor Dr. Kwan, you look very young. Every time I come, I see more energy. Wow. The Adulam Care Center is living under God's grace and God's glory. I speak double blessing over, come on, somebody in the house, put your hand. I love the church that cares for the community. That is the church. Hallelujah. And Adulam Care Center, double blessing. Amen. The leaf under today is like Sramban Life Assembly is living under God's glory and grace, which means you can touch Jesus. Amen. Adulam Care Center, I want to declare God's word. Psalm 84 and verse 11. The Lord is like a sun and a shield for Adulam Care Center. Sun provide light. Brightness over Adulam Care Center. Amen. And, and the presence of God is there. And the presence is love. Amen. Double. Sun and shield. Grace and glory. And God will not hold back blessing for Adulam. Even as I speak, blessing is heading towards Adulam. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. When I was young, at the age of 11, I used to fall sick very frequently, gastric. I have severe gastric pain. And I still remember when I was studying in my class, when the gastric pain, it just came, I remember at the age of 11, uh, and, and because it was so severe, the pain, until today, I can still remember what I was going through at the age of 11. Severe gastric pain. I was in the school. When the pain comes, it's so severe that I still remember my parents, my father used to come and take me back home from school. And at the age of 12, I, I, we were going to India for a holiday with my mom. And... Uh, and the pain came. And I used to crawl. I still remember I'm crawling and going to the airport. Even in the airport, I was down in pain. But I still remember they used to give me all the jalousil. I think jalousil, yeah, for the gastric pain. It was very severe. And Christmas... And while Christmas, where all the family members was there celebrating with us, and there comes my gastric pain. Very severe. And I remember, I, I, most of the time when the pain come, I will be like down, and when I walk, I can't walk, I will crawl, and it'll go for hours. And, and my parents uh, decided to take me for a further checkup, and that Christmas just gave me a future that is uncertain for me. Because I remember after that, when I was okay, when I'm playing around, all my family members would come, how is Derwin's gastric? I'm okay. I'm playing football. How is your gastric? While I'm playing soccer, how is my gastric? Everywhere you go, hey, how's your gastric, gastric, gastric? Until gastric became my identity. And I was wondering how long a lot I'm going to live under this gastric identity. 
And my mom began to pray. And she began to pray. You know, prayer by faith can change your identity. This morning, many of your identity is going to be changed by the Holy Spirit. Have faith. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. When you have faith, faith touches Jesus. Your identity from breakdown will turn to breakthrough. Won't you say an amen? This morning, your identity is breakthrough. Your identity is all things are possible. Your identity is you have a message. Amen. And I was in that severe pain. I still remember. And another time, uh, we, because my mom was from India, Kerala, so she used to travel very often back. And I know whenever I travel in the plane, I, I don't know why that's where the gastric pain comes. Very severe. And this time, I was in my mom's place in India, Kerala. And uh, there was a prayer meeting going on. In that prayer meet, uh, they told that they will pray for me. And that's where the prayer began to open up our destiny for Jesus. I remember at the age of 12, 13, and all of them were praying, and my mom told about my situation. And the pastor came. He said, Castric will not end your life, but you will end Castric in Jesus' name. I speak this morning. Don't let sickness to end your life, but you end sickness in Jesus' name. That day they prayed, until now, I am totally healed by the power of God. Let faith be your identity this morning. Don't let worriness be your identity. What was temporary become permanent and always you live under the worriness identity. Your uncertain becomes your identity. And this morning, the Holy Spirit is just leading me to speak about the woman with the issue of the blood. Let's turn to the Word of God. And I'm going to speak to you about three powerful keys. About faith is your identity. Now faith is. Now you believe your identity can be changed. And this is the place, once again, you can touch Jesus. I'm going to show you a miracle this morning. Instead of waiting for Jesus to touch you, you can touch Jesus. There's one powerful miracle in the Bible. But Jesus was amazed how Jesus changed an identity of a person. This is the only miracle because most of the miracle, Jesus lay his hand and touched. But there's one miracle. Instead of Jesus touching, she touched Jesus. Raise your expectation today in the word. And God will exceed your expectation. Amen. Let's turn to the word of God this morning. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Glory to God. Mark chapter 5. Faith is your identity. Even before I read once again, I root out every fear out in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Fear is false evidence appearing real. They are not real, but they are spoken and spoken and they seem to be real. Because of the recession, because of the economic crisis, I will not get promotion in 2023. So every day, I live under the impression because of this crisis, there's no promotion, no promotion, no salary increase, no salary increase until you begin to live in fear because you've got a family of four to take care. 
and that becomes rooted in your mind. And this morning, fear is not your identity. Some of you got fear over your children. In Jesus' name, what is going to happen to them? Some of you are having fear because of the sickness. And this morning, Jesus is here to replace fear with faith. Put your hand and give Jesus a glory. For all I trust him. F-A-I-T-H. Faith is powerful. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Master. You know, the, the two brothers, you will live long. I don't know why. The word is coming again and again. You will live long. Psalms 91 and verse 16. Uh, it was not by accident you have come here. It's already planned in heaven you are here today. And, 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 and you are going to see how God is going to turn around your future. Amen. As I speak, you're going to get more energy. You will continue to walk and walk and walk. Oh, shataka malahadele. I pray in Jesus' name. Thy word is a lamb unto my feet and a light unto my path. Where your feet is, strengthened by the word of God. And I thank you, Lord, a light unto my path. There is a destiny. When you say it's all over, it's just beginning. Amen. And God is going to show you how your family story will turn to glory. He's going to rewrite things. Amen. He's going to rewrite. In Jesus' name, Lord, I thank you. In Jesus' name, I'm seeing rewriting. Amen. Oh, this morning... You are trapped in the presence of God. Amen. That's the best place. <laughs> you know, the enemy always plans to trap us. But in the slumber life assembly, God traps you. When God traps you, get ready for a blessing. Amen. Who told you only the enemy can trap you? This morning, the Holy Spirit has trapped you. In Jesus' name. As I was praying for the two Brothers, the word came to me. All of you here, ev here, every day, you can put your faith in Jesus. Every day. There's a word in the Bible which Jesus says, every day I will load you with my blessings. Every day. It's 2023. Got 365 days, 365 days, God every day has a blessing for you. Every day. If today is good, tomorrow will be better. If you're smarter today, tomorrow you will be smarter. If you're weak, God will make you strong. Amen. That is our God. Every day. Wow, I love this word. I just want you to learn to rest right now. And just put your faith upon Jesus. Just, just put your faith upon him. Just give it to him. In Jesus' name. Psalm 68 and verse 19. Both of you, can you lift up your hands? Both of you. I'm going to declare this word of God for both of you. Psalm 68 and verse 19. I see the benefits of God that is written for you will be opened up by faith. Put your hand and give Jesus a glory. What the Holy Spirit is telling for both of you is 
whatever is yours is yours in the name of Jesus Christ. The promises of God for both of you is yes and amen. I see a bright and bright future. Wow, the blessing of God is every day for both of you as I speak. All of you here claim that blessing every day. The creator of heaven and earth, the miracle worker, the promise keeper, the way maker, he is with you. Everything will be added for you in this nation. And I see a bright future. You know, this word is very simple. And may this word be written in your heart and pictured in your mind. That is the word of God. Learn to memorize the word in your heart. Amen. If you say, I love Jesus. Oh, pastor, I love Jesus. Which means, I love the word. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. And the word was God. Jesus is the living word. And he holds on to his word. Whatever he says, he will do it. Now, learn this principle. Even before I, read, before I go to the scripture. This one word scripture is going to change both of your identity. Are your sisters? Amen. You will be a blessing for your family. Come what a berkat. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory to God. Faith means God can. Won't you say an amen? What you cannot do, God can. Put your hand and give Jesus the glory. That is faith by God's grace. When I see both of you, I see hope in your future. Hope is the word, the presence. Amen. If faith means God can, what is hope? Hope is God will. If you have faith, God can. Hope is He. He says, I will. Put your hand. And give Jesus the glory. Faith means God can. Whenever you put your faith in the word, hope comes. Hope means God will do it for you. Amen. God will do it for both of you. Psalm 68 and verse 19. May the scripture be written in your heart and pictured in your mind. All of you here, the Bible says, daily, Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Bless the Lord. Setiap hari, daily, God will load us with His benefit. Put your hand and give Jesus the glory. The situation may say crisis. The situation may say failure. But God's benefit says success in Jesus' name. Daily. And you will see what God is doing. Powerful scripture. Psalm 68 and verse 19. In New Living Translation, it says, Praise the Lord, Jesus who daily carries us in his arm. Amen. Thank you. Holy Spirit. I see decision. I don't know why. I've prayed for you before, but I see the word decision. Whatever decision you want to make, just ask Jesus because He is in your decision and you are going to see the blessing that's written for you is for you. Capture it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Come to the Word of God very quickly. I'm just going to read this story. Faith is your identity. Amen. Mark chapter 5 Verse 25 to verse 34. Three important principles I'm going to speak to you. Amen. By the way, this scripture, I pray, is your homework for today. Memorize the scripture today. Because every day, you will seek God. Let your will be done in my life. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Okay, let's come to Mark chapter 5, verse 25 to verse 34. Now a certain woman had a flow of blood for 12 years 
and had suffering and had suffered many things from many physicians. She spent all that she had and was no better, but rather grew worse. I want you to understand, just imagine, for 12 years, this woman's identity was issue of blood. Probably when it started the first year, she thought she could overcome it, but she could not. She spent all her money seeing all the physicians, second year, third year, eighth year, ninth year, they began to call her the woman with the issue of blood. That was her identity. This morning, what is your identity? Is your current situation that you're facing in your work, in your marriage, in your family, is your identity? And this morning, as you're going to look at this powerful story, for me, I love to study on the miracles of Jesus. But this one particular miracle changed my identity. And this word says, continue reading, verse 27. When she heard about Jesus, she came behind him in the crowd and touched his garment. For she said, if only I may touch his clothes, I shall be made well. Amen. For 12 years, her identity was a woman issue of the blood. Number one point. Identity. Faith is your identity. Number one is faith in the word. Won't you say an amen? The word of God is your identity. Amen. The word of God says here, you are a chosen generation. You are a royal priesthood. Who you are is written in the word. When you read the word, you go through the plans of God. When you read the word, you go through the mind of God. When you read the word, the word is living. And living, the word is your DNA. Put your hand and give Jesus the glory. The word is alive. The word is alive. And the Bible says here in verse 29, uh, verse 28, verse 27, when she heard about Jesus, Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. As you see, hear the word this morning, just put your faith in Jesus Christ. Faith comes by hearing and hearing. Romans chapter 10 and verse 17. Twice. When I was reading this word, why twice? Why not once? Faith comes by hearing the word. But Romans chapter 10 and verse 17 says, in Bahasa it says, Pendengaran dan pendengaran. You know, God changed my identity from a Tamil preacher, English preacher. Today, I'm a Basa preacher. Put your hand and give Jesus the glory. I will share with you my testimony. From an airline steward for 18 years with Malaysian Airlines, I became a steward for the kingdom of God. Put your hand and give Jesus. God changed my identity. Without Jesus, I would not be standing here. I already died in 2014 in MH370 or MH17. That is my testimony. I will share with you shortly. I supposed to be in that aircraft. Faith in the word and hearing of the word changes your identity. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word. So as you receive the word, the word goes into your heart. Won't you say an amen? Open your heart and receive the word. The word is the spirit of truth. The Holy Spirit is the one who brought you here. Come on, put your hand. And the Holy Spirit is alive. It's the spirit of truth. The word is spirit and life. When you know the spirit of truth, the Holy Spirit is in you. He only moves through the word of God. Amen. Open your heart and fill your heart with the word. Amen. Faith comes by hearing. The second hearing is the word must register into your mind. Put your hand and give Jesus the glory. Many times we love Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Oh, I fall in love with Jesus. 
But the moment you go home, you're defeated there. So many things distract you. Your mind is distracted. That's why the Bible says, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind. Amen. The very word which is in your heart must take over your mind. When it takes over your mind, it takes over your action. Faith is in action right now. That is the story of this woman. For 12 years, she was in this issue of blood. That is my identity. But she heard about Jesus. There is a miracle worker. His name is Jesus. When he speaks, everybody who hears his word, who believes in him, they will be saved. And miracles happen. She heard. She heard about Jesus. And one day, she know Jesus is passing by. What is in her heart right now registers in her mind. What if I get up from my depression? Come on, somebody, put your hand and give Jesus. What if I get up from my weariness? Oh, in Tamil, they say, Ida my tale elite. Tari ma Tamil eh. Ida my Tamil elite. Tale elite means, Uprita, your life is like that. Nothing good will come out from you. Tara untung, tara untung, tara untung, tak untung, tak untung, tak untung, tak untung, tak untung, tak untung. Business macam mana? Tak untung, tak untung. Kasih lah, kasih lah, kasih lah. No money, no money, no money, no money, no money, no money, no money. That is your identity. And the enemy is laughing, no money. You are not enough this morning. It's going to be turned to more than enough. Put your hand and give Jesus the glory. Amen. It's time for us to rise up. That is faith. What was in her heart? She began to see. Faith comes by hearing and hearing. The same word registered in your mind. In your movement. Let it take over. Amen. And now she began to see what? I touched Jesus. Instead of waiting for Jesus to come and touch me. What if I go and touch Jesus? Hallelujah. Somebody, come on, put your hands. In Slumber Life Assembly, you can touch heaven and change your life. Change your family. Change Malaysia. Amen. Oh, she began to rise. Twelve years. Sure. Veriness. As you give in to worriness and worriness, it will lead and take over. And that's where depression comes. And that's where sickness comes. Now she's rising up. Faith overcomes worriness. Faith overcomes depression. Faith overcomes bitterness. Faith overcomes hatred. Let it go right now. She was living in a hatred life. She had bitterness. But now she's willing to get up. As I speak in Jesus' name, if there's some bitterness in your heart, let it go in Jesus' name. Like I said, the Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth. Sometimes, why miracles are not taking place? Sometimes, why breakthroughs are not taking place? Bitterness, hatred, stops the flow of God. In Jesus' name, the Bible says, love God, love one another. You cannot change this formula. You cannot change the way. If Jesus can forgive your sins, 2,000 years ago, 2,000 years ago, from the cross, he already saw that two good, handsome brothers will be here. Come on, put your hand. Both of you are still looking good. Wow. I wish when I'm in your age, I'm still looking smart like both of you. <laughs> 2,000 years ago, on the cross of Calvary, he already saw September 17th today. You will be here. Come on, somebody. And that's why he says, it is done. It is finished. Let the world take over. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit.
Come on, just take a hand and put away your heart. The Holy Spirit can soften hardened hearts. You're hurt. It's normal. We go through that process, even as a pastor. People have spoken against me. They have cheated me. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm wounded in my relationship. Your heart matters to God. Whatever concerns you this morning, concerns our Lord Jesus Christ. And your heart matters. You know, when your heart can rest in Jesus, you see, healing is taking place naturally. When your heart says, Lord, I give you my heart. I give it to you. This woman, though she touched Jesus by her hand, but she's giving her heart to Jesus. This morning, particularly the Holy Spirit is speaking. Those of you who have bitterness or hatred, I want you to know the Holy Spirit will turn every bitterness and hatred to joy and peace in the presence of God. Let there be peace and joy. That's why the Bible says, let the peace of God guard your heart, guard your mind. I speak, Yahweh Shalom. Yahweh Shalom. In Jesus' name. Let it go. Let it go. Just rest upon Jesus right now. Let it go and rest upon Jesus. This woman in the issue of blood, that day. Come on, put your hand and give Jesus the glory to God. Wow, I, I, I love this morning I can minister here. She was down. Depression will put you down. Bitterness will put you down. Hatred will put you down. 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 You're supposed to look up. You're looking down. What was temporary became a permanent fire. Twelve is a number for the disciples of God. Twelve is the number of the tribes of Jesus. The kingdom of God. The tribe of Israel. Twelve. Twelve. When it came to twelve, it is time I'm going to rise up now. God is saying, hey, woman, you're about to change the identity of the movement on faith right now. Oh, thank you, Master. Amen. She began to rise up. Bitterness, hatred, depression, and she began to walk towards Jesus. But it's not easy. Faith in the word. Faith in the word. She knows the word is alive. The word can heal me. The word is Jesus. As I touch Jesus, I'm going to touch his word. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So let the word of God from today be written in your heart and picture victory in your mind. Picture breakthrough. See your future. See your September. See your December 31st. See. See. Hallelujah. In the midst of my problems, I see Jesus this morning. Come on. Put your hand and give Jesus the glory. In the presence of my enemy, he lays a table of victory in the presence of my enemy. I just one last thing I want you to do. The scriptures I'm giving to you, let it be written in your heart. Psalms 23 and verse 5. It's your family. It's your family. It's for you. This morning, there's a table of victory and a table of blessing in the presence of your enemy. The enemy can see but cannot touch you. Put your hand and give Jesus the glory. The enemy can see you, but cannot touch you. There's a table of victory. 
Whatever battle belongs to God, victory is yours. As I was praying for these three, how many children do you have? See. Wow. Come on, just take your hand and lay it over your head. Everyone here. Psalms 23 and verse 5. Let it be written. Faith in the word. Number one. If you want to see identity of miracle, the blessings of God, the promises of God, your identity must be in the word, Jesus. As you take your hand and put over your head, this scripture says, he prepares a table in the presence of my enemy who the enemy will not touch you. In Jesus' name, I speak right now. God has a new level of grace, a new level of glory over your life. I'm just watching this. You are standing in the promises of God. Hey, shut up. He prepares a table in the presence of your enemy. He anoints my head with oil. You know why? Hate. The mind of Christ. Your, when your mind is filled with the word of God, that is supernatural. Amen. The mind of Christ, the mind of Christ, when you put your word in your mind, the word of God in your mind will give you access to supernatural. I speak supernatural. He anoints my head with oil. And what Jesus says, my cup runs over, overflow, which means he already has a champion's cup for you. Come on, come on. I am a champion. That's how I meditate God's word. I raise up my children, even my wife. She knows we are champions for God. So this woman with the issue of number one, faith is the word. Number two, the word and the presence of God is the same. Won't you say an amen? You cannot separate. You cannot separate them. When you believe the word, the word is the presence of God. The presence of God is what you carry because you carry the word in your heart. Let the presence of God carry your life. Let the presence of God work for you. Let's read this very quickly. Immediately, the fountain of her blood was dried up and she fell in a body that she was healed of the affliction. And Jesus immediately knowing in himself the power had gone out of him. Turn around in turned around in the crowd and said, who touched my clothes? I'll read quickly as I'm about to end. And he looked around to see her who had done this thing. But the woman fearing and trembling, knowing that had, what had happened to her, came and fell down before him and told him the whole truth. And he said to her, daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed in your affliction. Amen. The word of God and the presence of God is the same. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't separate them. When you believe the word, the word is the presence of God. Amen. Won't you stand to your feet? I invite the musicians to come. The word of God is written in your heart, the presence of God. And you have allowed the word and the presence of God to take over your life. You move by the word. Faith is in action right now. You carry the presence of God as you leave SLA and go to your destiny. Some of you are going for good lunch. Some of you are heading back home. Some of you are maybe going to your workplace. Everywhere you go, you carry the presence of God because you carry the word. Amen. And you say, I love Jesus. Means I love the word. The word is the presence. And this morning you've come to the church holding on to Jesus for a miracle means you're holding on to the word. And the word will never fail you. This is my desire. Is it okay? 
This is my desire. Daryl, this is my desire. Shata kamondo leheti kilidi de mando. Wow. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Spirit of Truth is opening up the plans of God in your life. Oh, if you're holding on to Jesus, you're holding on to the Word. And I have a good news for you. Jesus has never failed. <laughs> and He will never ever fail. Tuhan Yesus tidak pernah gagal dan tidak akan gagal. Failure is not His identity. His identity is success for you. Amen. I see the plans of God. September, October, November, December. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Hey, my Jesus says, I already know your 2023. For when I write your story, I've written a beautiful 2023 calendar for you. Come on. Whose voice I believe, I shall believe the voice of God. He has written a beautiful story. That is the plan of God. That is the plan. Jesus has written a beautiful story about this woman. The issue of blood. The twelfth year when she got up by faith to walk towards Jesus. Heaven has written already about her. And instead of waiting for Jesus to touch her, she touched Jesus. Unlock the plans that is written for you this morning. Amen. Be open, Ipata. I speak in Jesus' name. That is for it. Open up the plan. Jeremiah 29 and verse 11. I love this story. You know why? Immediately, a woman with the issue of blood, issue of blood, you know what Jesus called her? She never called him, called her issue of blood. She called her daughter. Come on, somebody. Amen. Daughter and sons are what we are called today. We are sons and daughters of God. The highest level of worship is speak a lot, your daughter is hearing. Speak a lot, your son is hearing. Hello. We are sons and daughters of Abba Father living in Malaysia. Yes. Amen. And whatever the Father owns, it belongs to the sons and daughters. Come on. Whatever is written in heaven is for you. Sons and daughters, they grow mature to take care of the house. For unto us, a child is born. The child became a son is given. Child is born. A son is given. How do you mature in God? Faith. This little boy, as you grow in faith, he'll be matured in God. Faith will grow you to be matured in God. Amen. You know the woman, immediately that day, she matured in God because of her faith. Come on. What Amen. take 10 years <laughs> what take 20 years what take one year in one second she did it come on that is faith yes amen that is faith you know I will just end with this with a song but I just share with you my testimony very quickly faith in the word the word and the presence of God is the same and let the word be your destiny this morning. Amen. Your destiny, your sons and daughters of God. Every father loves to speak to the children. I got two children and they long to hear my voice. And 18 years I worked in Malaysian Airlines. You know MAS? Mana ada system? MAS? Misty ada system. I worked in flight for 18 years. 
you know, when I had two of my children, whenever I go back home, somehow they'll come with expectation what daddy bought for them. They come with expectation. You know, a father always will give the best for the children. How much more Abba Father will give best? This morning I just declare, sons and daughters of God is rising from Sraman Life Assembly. Ownership, ownership. For 18 years, I was working with Malaysian Airlines. I was a senior flight attendant. But faith in the Word, the Word and the presence of God changed my life. For 18 years, I was working at MAS. In 2012, about 200 cabin crew was chosen to take care of Boeing 777 aircraft. 2012. And I was in charge in the business class service with 777, 2012. The flight that went missing, MH370, you heard that in 2014. And the flight that exploded from 2012, that particular aeroplane, 2012, 2013, 2014, was my second home. <laughs> I was working in that aeroplane most of the time. The captain and the flight crew that went missing until today, they all are my batch of crew that we worked together from 2012. Every month, it's difficult for me to be in church because I'm an airline cabin crew. I travel most of the time. Afraid in the Word. The Word is the presence of God. It's what I carry as I go to all over the nation. But in 2012, when I got this promotion as a senior crew, at the same time, in Amsterdam, about three something in the morning, I just got up to read the word. I was frustrated. Like many of you go through disappointment. I'm disappointed most of the time. I'm not there for my family. I've been traveling. Birthday celebration, I'm not there. Christmas, oh, most of the time I have to somehow work way, my way through to get off on Christmas Day. Important for and my children are growing up. I told God, am I called to be a airline crew rest of my life? Or do you have another plan? What is my identity, Lord? I want you to know you can speak to God. He's your father. That day, for three something in Amsterdam, Jeremiah 29 and verse 11 opened up my heart, opened up my mind. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plan to prosper you and not to harm you. Hope and future. When you have the word, you have future in Malaysia. Come on. When you have the word, everywhere you go, you have a future. No word, no future. When you have the word, you have a future. Your life is in purpose right now. And that opens up. And I saw myself as a missionary. Every Sunday when I'm in church, if I'm in KL, I'm in a church, I will preach. Because most of the time, I'm not there. But I saw myself as a missionary in 2000 to that word. I know the plans I have for you. You are a missionary. I said, God, prepare myself to be a missionary. 2012, 2013. And entering into 2014, on that particular Sunday, I was in KL and I was preaching to the church. And that time the Holy Spirit told me, today you go full time serving God. In a moment of your decision to put your trust in the word, your destiny is shaped. Put your hand. When you trust the word, your destiny is changed. Amen. She trusted the word. The woman with the issue of the blood. She carried, she put into action. Her destiny was changed. Daughter, wow. In 2014, as I entered, and that particular Sunday I was in the church, I told the church, today 
I resign 24 hours. I'm not asking any of you to resign from your job or give up your business. Sir. Please don't do that. That was me. Because God knows that is the time. Beautiful. When I told that, this is already an open altar call, yeah? Because the presence of Jesus is here. Jesus knows everything concerning you. He knows me. I have a father. He knows me by my name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Many of you purpose. Your life is in purpose. I told I resigned 24 hours. The only person I look at was my wife. I scared she'd take the shoe and throw it at me. <laughs> she said, no, you know what? There's a peace of God that's saying to me, what you said today is the plan of God. Go ahead and serve God. Wow. Once a wife says that thing, ooh ha for me. Wow. Praise God. Many told me I made a gila punya decision. Stupid. 12,000, 15,000 salary. You just gave up like that? 18 years? Friends, five months from the day I resigned, the day I resigned, MH370 went missing. All that went missing is my close patch mate. The rostering department saying, Durbin, if you're around, high likely your batch girl is there, you will be on that flight. Because your batch girl is there, you always fly together. 18 years. Two months later, MH17, the flight that exploded in Ukraine air, is the same flight pattern I will do every month. Tuesday, it took off and lands in Malaysia on Friday. I'm supposed to be on that flight. What I'm trying to say to you today, the flight is missing. The flight exploded. My life is not missing. My life is not exploded. God's plan, second chance. Go and preach the gospel. Lord, I give you my heart. I give you my soul. I live for you alone. Every breath that I take. Every moment I awake, Lord, have your way in me, Lord. I give your heart to Jesus, give your mind, give your September, October, December 2023, give your 2024.
everywhere you go, faith connects to Jesus. The Holy Spirit moves through faith. And the Holy Spirit brings all glory to Jesus. Come on. Healing is His name. Victory is His name. Breakthrough is the name of Jesus. Call the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. I just want to release the greatest miracle the greatest blessing. Don't run after miracle. Don't run after prophecy. Don't run after blessing. This woman, she was not running after miracle. She was not running after blessing. She was running after the God of miracle. Come on. She was running after the God. She wants to just lay her life on Jesus. Amen. Amen. As I speak right now, there's just there's two things I want you to do as you just meditate on the Word of God or just go through this YouTube again and again as you hear. I pray miracles are happening because the God of miracle is the presence that you carry. Run after Jesus. The God of blessing is what you're resting. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. You know, when I came a full-time missionary, until now, I just came back from India, Punjab, two months ago. Before that, I was in Philippines. One week ago, I was in Katabalud. And tonight, we are ministering in front of 1,500 people in SIBKL. We have the revival with glory. And I'm a part of the director. If I don't have Jesus, I don't have the word, my son and my daughter will be crying like all my good friends who went missing. Where is Papa? The word gave me a destiny. And I just wanted to share with you the greatest blessing, the greatest miracle is your salvation. If you have not received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I just want you to give these opportunities. It's okay. I just want to give you this opportunity. Lord Jesus, I make you my Lord and my Savior. That is the greatest blessing. Put your hand. And number two, I'm already ending here. I just want you to pray for your family members who are not saved. Your faith touches Jesus and Jesus will open the way for them to know Jesus. I just want you to take about 20 seconds from now if you have family members who have not known Jesus heaven is real angels are real and heaven is on earth right now here and Jesus is here and he's a God of compassion. He loves the sinners. He cares for the brokenhearted. If he can touch sinners in the Bible and change your life, he can touch any members of your family. I want you to raise up your faith. And I just want you to pray for your family members. Keluarga kamu yang belum selamat lagi. I just want you to just take this 30 seconds and speak to Jesus and mention their name. For Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus touches your family member who are not saved. Father, I just pray right now. I'm just seeing your prayer as you speak to God by faith right now. God will make a way for them. God will make a way. In Jesus' name, I thank you. Once again, Slumber Life Assembly, soul winning. Soul winning. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I pray in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Disciples will raise. Amen. Oh, souls are won for the kingdom of God. God's love is for us. In Jesus' name. Slumber Life Assembly. The word of God, the word and the presence of God is in this church. Destiny, destiny, be saved, be saved. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Thank you. Amen. Let's give God a clap of praise. A wonderful message.
remember that uh, from tonight on your word. A heaven is on the earth. Uh. Amen. Please, it's real. Come, pray. Uh, go to come forward. Uh, as a musician, please, with a song. Just come for those who need to pray for. I know the time is up, but I will believe. You know, you have anything to pray. Our pastor Devin here will pray for us. Otherwise, may the grace of Jesus, love of God, and fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us and bring us back in the uh, same time, same place next su Sunday. Amen. Hallelujah. Make sure before you go, great hand with uh, our visitors. Great hand. Shalom to each other. Amen. Hallelujah. There's a reflection outside uh, at the back and uh, take, take time to fellowship with each other. God bless all of us. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah.